Okay, so one more example of graphing a, co a complex number and finding its absolute value or its modulus. So here we have 1 minus i over 2 plus i. To write this in the more familiar a plus bi form, what we do is we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, which means uh, we just flip the sign in the middle. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by 2 minus i, but that also means we have to multiply the numerator by 2 minus i. So let's see, if we distribute things out, we'll get 1 times 2, which will be 2. So I'm working in the top. We'll get 1 times negative i, which will be, well, negative i. We'll get a negative 2i. Then we have negative i and negative i, which is just going to give us a positive i squared. Okay, in the denominator, we'll have 2 times 2, which is 4. We'll get 2 times negative i, which will be, well, negative 2i. On the inside, we'll get a positive 2i. Then we have positive i times negative i, which will give us negative i squared. So let's see, in the top, we have 2. Uh, we've got negative i and a negative 2i. That'll give us negative 3i. We have plus i squared, but that's plus negative 1, which we can write as minus 1. Notice in the de denominator, the negative 2i and the positive 2i cancel. We would have 4 minus i squared, which is negative 1. So in the numerator, we've got 2 minus 1, which is 1, minus 3i, all over 4 plus 1, which is 5. And we can now rewrite this as uh, 1 fifth minus 3 fifths times i. So now, uh, by doing all this, I've got it uh, written as a more recognizable complex number. Well, all you would do, um, so maybe this is 1, and we'll stick down here, uh, negative 1. It says we're graphing, uh, well, how about negative 1? How about we put positive 1 on the right side? Uh, so here's positive 1. I was already thinking of the negative. So here's a positive 1 and negative 1. Well, it says for the real part, you're only going over to 1 fifth. And then uh, we have to go down. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here would be negative 3 fifths. Uh, we can put a dot right there. So the real part is positive 1 fifth. The imaginary part is negative 3 fifths. Again, we can just make a vector uh, pointing at that little dot, and that would now be the graph of our complex number. To find the modulus, again, to find the modulus, we just take each component, uh, the real part and the imaginary part, and square it. So plus negative 3 fifths squared. And now just a little bit of a arithmetic. So we'll get 1 over 25 plus 9 over 25 when we uh, square everything. That'll give us 10 over 25. But we can rewrite this as the square root of 10 over the square root of 25, which would just simply, uh, I think, reduce down to the square root of 10 over 5. And we can't really simplify the square root of 10 any further, so I think I would leave it right there. So we would say the modulus of this complex number is root 10 over 5.